Manfred! Manfred! Anybody home? Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? S Scott? This is Scott! Oh, yes, of course! Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. Oh, at my age, time means nothing anymore. I... I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. Well, how about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's, uh, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this, this calls for a celebration. I'm just the thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I, I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. Do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell them to call back this afternoon. Sure, no problem. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later? Well, to old friends. Beautiful. It's a Stradelli, crafted in Venice in the 18th century. Mm. It's one of my favorite pieces. Tell me, Scott, what brings you back after all these years? I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Yeah. Well, let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter, oh, Sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. See what this envelope has to say for itself. The Royal Five. And yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. Yes. No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. These typewriters, are they rare? 
No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or in their cellar. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. At least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. You think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. It's been a while since Manfred went into his office. Let's take a look. Hello? Manfred! Hello? Your call is locked, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? <gasps> oh my god! He's dead. has already called the police. I think he wants us to be his scapegoats. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. You better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. In, we're gonna be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of Royals when he was killed. Forget it. We gotta get out of here fast. Almost finished. The 
That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? Hang tight. I'll just check one last time. I haven't forgotten it. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. Come on, let's go. The victim was killed by you in his shop. Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. Listen, we had nothing to do with his murder. We were only there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? Well, well, Scott Shelby. Trouble again? Wrong time, wrong place. You know what it's like. Don't sweat. I'll take care. For old time's sake. Thanks, Carter. I owe you one. You want anything at the moment? Well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond me. Idea stage. You tell me about it, you Scott. Sure. Where are we going? I'm taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We we're partners, remember? We had a deal. Listen, Lauren, I know you want to find the killer, but you're not helping me by putting yourself in danger. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I want to find my sense killer. You're not going to stop me. You're going to be a good girl. You're going to go home and let me get on with my investigation. I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. This girl's stubborn as a mule. She doesn't let up, with or without me. It's all my fault. I should never have let her come with me. once again in my arms.
Yeah? What do you want? Oh, fuck it. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies in my door. If you want to score him... Hey! Take it easy, man. Huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. Sure we can make a deal, huh? God! I'm gonna blow your brains out, you son of a bitch! You think you come into my house and you steal my dope? You can shoot up in your ass, motherfucker! Man, I give you whatever you want. Got dope? I got cash? You, you want some dope? Please, please don't kill me, man. I got children. These are my girls, see? This one's Sarah, and a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please, please don't shoot. <laughs> I'm a father too. But I'm no killer. <laughs> 